So there was this psychology professor who was teaching a lecture to a class on stress management. As she was teaching the class, she raised a glass of water. Before she could speak, a student stood up and goes, Ho! Oh, glass half empty, glass half full, that'll do. The lecturer replied, no you little ball bag, sit down and shut up and I'll explain. This had nothing to do with glass half empty, glass half full. What she wanted to know was, how heavy is the glass I'm holding? The students started shouting out, six ounces, eight ounces, two pounds. The lecturer replied, no, 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 incorrect. The lecturer goes on to explain that from her perspective, the actual weight of the glass doesn't matter. It all depends on how long she's holding it. A couple of minutes, she's starting to feel a little bit of a strain in her arms. If she holds on to it for a few hours, then yeah, it's getting really difficult. And if she holds on to it for a day, her arm's gonna feel like it's gonna fall off and she's in serious pain. In each case, can you see that the weight of the glass doesn't actually matter, it's how long she holds on to it. The students in the lecture hall agreed and you could see them nodding their heads and sort of saying, oh aye, fair enough, good point, good point. She explains to the class that your stress and worries are exactly the same as the glass of water. If you hold on to it for just a minute, then it's, it's not so bad. If you're holding on to this for a couple of hours, then you start to feel a strain and you're in a bit of pain and it's uncomfortable. If you hold on to things until for the whole day, then it becomes crippling, numbing, paralyzing until you actually let go of the glass of water or your problems. The moral of the story is to let go of your stress and worries. Don't carry them through into the next day. Don't hold on to your problems. It's not going to fix things. Learn to let go and be at peace with what happened and move on. The longer you hold on to something, the more pain you're gonna be in.